Hello, I'm Will with Bellavix, and today I'll be presenting to you how to give your agency access to your Amazon account and how to set those permissions. Uh, it's a two-step process. The first step would be to grant the email address that your project manager has provided permissions to your Amazon seller account once the, and then notify the project manager. Once the project manager has accepted the, uh, the request uh, to have access to your account, you'll then need to go in and adjust permissions. Uh, fairly straightforward and quick process, um, so let's do it. So right now we're in your Amazon uh, dashboard. You can see Amazon Seller Central. This is the main page. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Settings and we're going to go to User Permissions. So now that we're on user permissions, you'll want to enter your project manager's name or just Bellavix Management, whatever, whatever makes the most sense for you. And you're going to enter the email address that was provided. And then you're going to send the invitation. And that's it. So from here, what you would do is you would email your project manager to let them know that permission has been granted uh, to access the account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept this permission on my end and then we are going to set our actual permissions for what we can access in the back end. All right, so I've just accepted access to the account. And so what I'm going to do now, you see open invitations, we'll refresh this and we'll see that my name becomes a uh, current user. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and manage the permissions by selecting the manage permissions button. And as of now, I have access to nothing essentially. Um, and so, you know, for us as a team, it's best to have access to as much as you're willing to give us access to. The more information we have, the more uh, informed our strategy can be. So inventory, if you're full channel management, you're going to want to give us access to uh, your inventory. And you can inventory planning, your performance, classifications, all that information. Uh, pricing, we will of course notify you of any changes in pricing or if we need to raise pricing or make our recommendations but you'll have final sign off on that. Uh, advertising, so this is a lot of the advertising, the promotions, the management. Uh, orders, this is where we manage orders, refunds, uh, we can do claims against this. Uh, store design, this is what we'll use to build your storefront. Uh, Amazon Pay, we don't need access to, so we can leave uh, we can leave that. Reports, we want access to all the reports we can. Settings, we'd like access to all of your settings. Media upload, we need to upload media. Upgrade and downgrade, we don't need to do and performance information. We need access to all of that. Um, and so once you have set these permissions, you can roll through and said, see, we pretty much have access to everything. One thing that we do not need access to is your banking information, which is right here. So we don't need to see your bank account. We will need configurations. We will need uh, shipping settings. Tax settings is something we need. But your bank account information, you can keep to yourself. All right, and now I'm going to save this by hitting continue. And you can see all the changes. Uh, so it went from the red state to the green state. And you can see we have access to all these wonderful features. So what we could do from here, so you can see what it looks like on my side. When we got access to the account, we really didn't have access to anything. Uh, when I refresh this window, you can see that I now have access to all the different um, options that I need to be able to deliver full service to your account. Um, so I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, feel free to contact your project manager with any questions or definitely reach out to us uh, on the website uh, at www.bellavix.com.